Hello everyone, this is Tales from and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Go oh. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to just kick myself out of the world already. <laughs> Anyways, we started the game yet last video and got to Mambo's Mountain, the first world of the game. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my wall hills and I'll explain. Yeah, so we gotta find some moves, and there's also musical notes, and these little guys known as Jinjos. You saved me! Grandoda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world! Free us all to get a jiggy! And here's the notes. I'm a newt, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. So anyways, this is the first world, so everything's gonna be very easy and quick to get. But yeah, the notes are essentially the coins of Banjo kazooie and we want to collect a hundred of them in each world. There are a hundred in each, nine worlds total, and there's a lot of note doors. Some of them will require a lot of notes, and it's the game's designed in a way that you have to collect at least some notes in every world of the game. There's no going around it. Leave my honeycombs alone! Oh, anyways, let's go ahead and get one of the most useful moves in the entire game right off the bat. And oh yeah, there are music variations in this game. Here we go. The Chowan Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does he do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice! And there we go. The best more travel. You must search for 10 of us in each world. I'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Yes, with a talent shot, we can move so much faster. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. But oh my gosh. Ugh, oh, wait, I, hang on. Where are the eggs? Cause oh, we can learn to use us as ammo. But yeah, oh my gosh, with a talent shot, travel is so much faster. This is pretty much how you will be exploring for 98% of the game. Anyways, here's another item. Me Mumbo Stalkin, used for Mumbo Magic. Yep. Who's Mumbo? Well, if you don't know, you'll find out in probably one or two minutes. Right now, though, I'm just gonna collect more stuff. Yippee! You've collected enough notes to break the first note door! Spell! I forgot that word was gonna be there. So there's only one Jinjo left. We collected 61 of 100 notes. Again, this is a very small world. We don't have a lot of the Jiggies yet, but that's fine. They're very easy to get in this world. As you saw, one of them was a no effort Jiggy. Anyways, Bottles is somewhere here. Oh, here's a Muck. Let's just kill him. And let's learn our second move. I call this the Big Buster! Jump into the air, then press E to send Kazooie slam it hard down to the floor! I don't like the sound of that banjo! Get you soon, this girl! You'll be using it a lot! He's not wrong. So we can use it here already as a demonstration, and this is. Mmm, I'm sticky, tasty honey energy. And this will also net us one of the next jiggies. Oh, and there's another jiggy up there. So yeah, this is this is a very easy world. We won't be here long at all. We can easily finish this this video. Thankfully, there's not too much backtracking you generally have to do in this game, and that that's all the Jinjos. There we go, eight more to find. Uh-huh. And there we go. 
We're not gonna go inside the Mumble Skull yet. I want this Jiggy for now, though. There, we just got three Jiggies in the span of like a minute. Isn't that something? Anyways, let's pick- Oh! Another Jiggy! That's four in the span of a minute! <laughs> See, this is- This is very much a practice type world, just to get used to the game, pretty much. There's almost no challenge to it. Although, as a kid, I still found ways to screw up, so... Hey, it was- It's- It's fair enough for a first world. It's not very interesting, but it really- Gives you more time to get the ropes down. There's only 10 notes left, and here's a mumble token. Oh, don't worry. The honey energy doesn't leave unless you leave the world, where everything respawns. The enemies don't respawn, by the way, so you can clear things out. Wait, why am I going in here? I don't want to be in here yet. No, there's a couple more things I want to do. First off, let's briefly go in here. Up, two, three, four. Hey, Yuggly! No, bears allowed in Decker's Tower! <coughs> no, I wanted that. That's the reason we're in here right now. We won't be able to do this place right now, though, because as you'll see, this gets a little too steep even for Kazooie. Oh well, what are we gonna do now? Well, now we are gonna go ahead towards the first boss of the game. Don't get too excited. The bosses in this game aren't very special, with one exception. Here's Conga, though. Good. This Kong Street need bare oranges. Don't touch Kong's blocks. So, yeah, this is a two faced fight in the first phase. We just need him to throw oranges on these orange blocks. So we're not actually fighting yet. Oh, for Pete's sakes. There we go. And for that, we get a Jiggy. Clear the bear fight, come scoot. Uh -huh. All right. We're not done yet, though. Hey, that comes orange. Yum. Oranges are nice. And here's a monkey who wants an orange. Chippy love Conga's orange! Chippy help fat parrot bird! And with that, we get yet another Jiggy. There we go. Uh, let's go this way first. And now we have no mumble tokens for what will happen inside. And here's a grunty switch. Let's hit it. There's one of these in each world, and each one will reveal a Jiggy hidden within Grunty's lair. You then have to get to it. Only the first one was a freebie because we needed a Jiggy to even enter the first world. And here's the last move. Time for the butter to learn the ancient ways of the egg! I'm listening, Beetle Breath! Hold G, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth! Hey! Sounds cool! Anything else? Sure! Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind! Sheesh! Sounds painful! I wish I never asked! Everybody can carry a hundred eggs in your backpack! Oh! And you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching! Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with! Hmm, your air energy's a little low, or I'll fill it up for you! Whoa, Pedro! There's nothing more I can teach you in this world! Good. Now it's time for phase two of the boss. We actually fight him by shooting eggs at him. Be safe here. Bear kid hit Conga. And every time you hit him, he will throw oranges at us. You egg hit Conga. And then I fall, because of course I do. We just have to hit him three times. It's a simple boss. 
There we go, and that's that's the boss. <laughs> bear be kung, me give praise to bear. There's another jiggy. Okay, we're almost done with this world. Look at that. We're almost done. But he will still attack us, so let's leave. Alright, there's not much more to get. However, there's another thing I should probably note. There are two extra honeycomb pieces in each world. I was hoping I could just get that, but I missed. It's easier to get it once we visit Mumbo, so maybe I should just do that instead of wasting time. Yeah, let's go towards Mumbo. However, um... We're not done quite yet, just Banjo-Kazooie. There's this tower, but we don't want to get rid of it all yet. most horrible. Feed us with nice blue stones. So we're not going to want to get rid of the whole thing right away. Because there's a honeycomb up there, and we can't reach it with our jump alone. So we're going to keep one here so that we can actually reach. There we go. That's one of the only actual puzzle moments. Again, every this is generally a very straightforward world. Almost done. Now we'll go and visit Mumbo. <coughs> Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy! Mumbo's magic tokens hit by which by tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. In a moment, I want to pick up some more stuff. And there's always a way up to the top here too. Like we can get some eggs here. We got a lot of eggs, but we're gonna want to try and max out as soon as we can. Okay, and with that, let let me show you what happens. He transforms us. Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when ready. Turn my bitch small, but not bad for a first spell. Mumbo practice needed. But, uh, yeah, have I told you this game does love its fourth wall breaks? There will be quite a lot of them throughout the course of the game. The sequel has even more. But we're not playing the sequel right now, we're playing this. Anyways, let's get the second honeycomb piece. And there's only one thing left to do. As a termite, we can climb Ticker's Tower. <laughs> oh, but these termites still aren't going to like us very much. Hey! Where did you get those shots? I want them! So yeah, there's still an enemy. I missed! I am so ashamed of myself. So ashamed. Give me the car, my pegger! You found all 100 ultra on this world! World done! Oh yeah, and every time you collect 100 notes, you do get a 1-up. Okay, I need this camera to catch up to me, because I am really messing this up. There. It caught up. Oh, if you hear the music in this, this is a variation of the beta Mumbo's Mountain theme. Yeah, one that's not in the final cut. But it's that variation still exists. Here's an extra life. Anyways, let's get this jiggy, and that's it. Mumbo's Mountain is 100% complete. I'm just gonna jump for joy for now. Yeah, you get that little jingle whenever you get all the jiggies. And Banjo usually does an another cute little animation, but... I usually end up getting that jiggy last year, so we're not gonna see it till the next world. Anyways, we're done in here. And yes, we can actually leave while transformed. If we get too far away from the world, we'll be transformed back anyway, so this is a little faster. 
Rondi's magic stops you taking the notes off the world, but the one hundred you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get one hundred on each world, as they are needed to open the note doors. Yes. And it was also you. Mumbo magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. Well, I guess we're gonna go. Magic all gone. Must go back to bear and burn now. So, there we go. Oh, yeah, and uh, the notes. Uh, when you roam in a world door, bodies escape and run once more. Grunty will randomly talk while we're in the hub, which I think is a pretty neat detail since it is her lair. Rich, it's an outdoor. She will make Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Charles! It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the world. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least this to break Runty's magic. So yeah, we need at least 50. Oh, that's the animation Banjo does when he collects all the jiggies in the world. So you got to see it now. <coughs> so here we are. That door was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. <coughs> Anyways, let's say hi to her. Hello there, young ones. I'm Gruntilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Yes, we need to know these, and they change every playthrough. Grunty brushes her rotting teeth and salted slug flavored toothpaste! She also washes her hair with rins and milk! Yuck! And she gets her clothes from the trash can! Yeah, I always like changing her voice when we talk about the disgusting stuff. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button! But once the picture's complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently! Which is good. Anyways, this opens up World 2. Treasure Trove Cove. Of course, we still have to find it. It won't be that hard to find, though. There we go. Oh, shoot! I forgot something! And I'm so embarrassed that I forgot about it. But first, let's do this. You wrote to feed a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. I forgot about the Jiggy on top of Mumbles Mountain, and we got transformed into a termite again. This is sort of embarrassing for me that I'd forget this. And it's gonna waste a little bit of time. Oh well. The last video was a tad short, so who cares if this is a tad long, I guess. Because I want to end this video by getting to the second world. So I'm back in! See, everything responds. Everything. This also includes if you die. So you, you don't want to die. It's pretty punishing. I think the Xbox release neutralizes this a bit so that important stuff you collect remains collected. But that's not the case in this original Lens 64 version. Okay, let's go get that jiggy. Let's go. Too bad we can't move as fast as a termite. <laughs> They're funny. Alright, here we are. There we go. I can't believe I forgot to pick that up. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. 
join me now and dump the bear! That little backpack that no wear! Man, so much dialogue at one moment. <coughs> Alright, let me just hurry over to the second world now. I love this music so much, it is so darn good, I love it so much, I hear it in my sleep. Okay, well not really, but it really is very good. Oh, and also, there's a slightly different variation of this tune, which we will actually hear in here. See, it's a little different. Anyways, down here is the second world. And there's a different variation for every time you get close to a world as well, which is also really cool. Anyways, here we are, Treasure Trove Cove. This will be the second world in the game. <clears throat> and we should be able to complete the entire world next video, because again, <clears throat> it is bigger, but it still doesn't take too long to get through. Oh, this be Treasure Trove Cove! There be two new moves for ye to find! <clears throat> next video, though. Until then, though, this has been Tales for 109, and have a nice day!